your mom was a very secretive person. Do not step one foot back in that arena. Do you hear me? She left out details. I get why. There's a few gaps in time, you know? Sometimes nothing happened or people didn't write anything down. Other times, we just never turned in the journal. Greetings and salutations I mean to everyone. My name is Derek Day, SP17008. And what you heard earlier was an audio clip taken from podcasts. Now, if you're interested to learn more, then stay and listen to my speech, which is entitled Podcasts, the audio sheet you've never heard till now. Now, first things first, I would like everyone in the audience to think. Question yourselves. When was the last time you left something running in the background? Doesn't matter whether you can YouTube while you're doing stuff on your laptop, maybe it's television where you make background noises for your entire room or your house, or maybe even playing loud music to drown out your boredom while you're doing chores. Or maybe here there are people that feel that they waste so much time of their day. Maybe that they feel they didn't do they don't do enough learning that they waste so much time. Or how about those here that enjoy the idea of learning but do not relish the idea of reading. Going through lengthy sentences on sheets of paper bounded by leather strap is not at all enticing. If any of those hit home, then might I suggest a solution, which is, of course, podcasts. But what is a podcast? Podcast, in essence, is basically audio television. It is similar to radio, which is an entertainment that you listen to, but it differs where Radio is something that you stream, and the content is very generalized. Whereas, podcast, on the other hand, is something that people or the creators record offline, release on a schedule, and have much more specialized content. See, podcasts themselves, because of their nature, it makes them very versatile. You can literally listen to podcasts anywhere. If you have a phone, if you have an internet connection, then you can listen to it at any time, on the go. It's very easy. Of course, Podcasts themselves also exist in a wide variety. Similar to how televisions have so much TV shows for you to listen, the same goes with podcasts. Each podcast is unique to one another. There is so many episodes and creators create and churn out content all the time. So here is a little bit of insight of the popularity of podcasts. See, by podcast statistics of 2019, in the US, about 165 million have at least listened to one podcast. That's about 50% of the population people. And for houses, 60%, 60 million houses in the US listen to podcasts themselves. This shows how popular it is, especially in the US. Now obviously I know some people here are saying like, well, I'm not in the US, I don't listen to podcasts. What is the need for me to even know about this? Well, here's a question for you. How much time here does everyone spend on chores or money and tasks? And I'm referring to things that you do every day. Things like committing to work, long drives, maybe waiting for the bus, or maybe even waiting for the bus itself. How about things like cleaning the house, sweeping the floor, chores, and etc. How much time does everyone spend on this? Obviously, everyone does it, but how much time do you spend it in silence? See, we as humans are multitaskers. We can do things while doing other things. Often, people listen to music while they do jobs, right? And the same goes. I'm saying, if you're listening to music, good for you. But I, my suggestion is, why don't you switch the medium, the podcast? Now, I know some people here think that I don't listen to music or podcasts themselves are way too long for my consumption. Well, here's a bit of statistics to show you. See, a study made by Via Social of 2019 shows that about 34% of an average Malaysian's time is spent on the internet. See, 6% of that, which is an hour and 80 minutes, is specifically used to stream music. And for reference, a podcast episode is roughly about 30 minutes to an hour. So if you can spend average about an hour and 80 minutes a day on music, then there is no excuse for someone to say, I have no time to listen to podcasts. It's as easy as just switching to the next song that you want to listen to. So the contents of podcasts themselves are very unique, but they can be boiled down into three main things which is basically fictional stories created by these creators for the enjoyment of the listeners, or maybe it's real life experiences shared tips and tricks about life itself made by these creators, or maybe even it's educational lessons given by these creators to educate us, to give us education and knowledge about things. And like I said earlier, 
content of podcasts are very specialized. See, creators create content based on a niche and an area, and the content they churn out is based on this. So each podcast episode are very unique to one another. One creator does not create the same content like another. And due to this nature, creators spend a lot of time on their passion projects. Thus, there is a lack of misinformation that's going to occur because of the amount of time and preparation that's put into these podcasts themselves. And due to this nature itself, it is also apparent that podcasts will have a more intimate relationship with the listeners. See, in radio or TV television, it is very generalized. But in a podcast, the creator themselves are referring to you, the audience. So there, it builds a rapport and a relationship that is very intimate and personal with the listeners themselves. So it's similar like television where you start getting hooked up on the show. See, once you start listening to an episode, they become into something that you like watching, sorry, listening all over and over again. And similar to how television works, it becomes something that you look forward to, a show, a routine for your weekends that you want to listen to. And as you go on and progress, you start to learn more about the creators themselves, how they work, how they think, how they speak. All of that is lifted in the content that they create and share out for you, the audience, the listeners. And to a certain degree, you join and you find like-minded people like yourselves, a community. And in that community, people do a lot of things. Some theorize and fantasize about making story beats for the next story or episode of podcast. Some people do meet and greets, meet up with the creators, people. Some people even just meet up as friends. The community is positive experience, and once you meet it, it's a great feeling. So here again is a little bit of uh, statistics. So an article written by Jay Bear, the 14th critical podcast statistics of 2019, it is shown that for the US listeners itself, weekly podcast listeners listen to about seven shows a week. Now 14% of these weekly listeners listen to even more, about 11 or more shows a week. Now in context, I know that seems a lot, but Remember, we as Malaysians have this superpower where we can binge watch Korean dramas for the entire weekend, maybe one season or two, with no problem whatsoever. So if we have this kind of ability, then I'm fairly certain we can listen to about one podcast episode a week. And again, I'm saying a podcast is literally 30 minutes to an hour. Your dramas normally are an hour plus. So, context. So, here's a few suggestions for me about podcast episodes that you might want to try and listen. So, if you like medical podcasts with a side of comedy, do try Sawbones, they're very funny. If you like podcast D&D, a play story session, then why don't Adventure Zone? It's a great story. On the other hand, maybe you like education, you want to know more about facts, then go for stuff you should know. They teach a lot of stuff, like what is an El Nino, how to make wine, and so on. Maybe you want a more comedic side to education, then Try Adam Ruins Everything. It's a great show, it's recommended to me by a friend. And my pride and joy, my final one, Where Alive. In fact, the audio clip you heard earlier was taken from their trailer for the new season. Where Alive is basically a story, a realistic story told about the post apocalypse of survival in the zombie apocalypse. It's a great story, if you want to listen, go ahead. So maybe now, you're interested to know about podcasts, where can you find podcasts? Well, they're easy to find. They're on most music streaming sites. You can find them on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, or maybe even site hosts themselves, like MaximumFun.org. In fact, a lot of podcasts I have mentioned here can be found on MaximumFun.org, where you can stream them, or you can download them and listen to them offline. So, go ahead, discover what podcasts you want. Who knows, there's a lot of stuff there, so discover what you like. That's all from me. Thank you for listening.